Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. On my ongoing mission to sort the house out, I'm going to make a spice rack for the kitchen. I'm going to use this rough sawn oak. It needs planing, so I'm just going to cut it down to smaller bits just to make it more manageable. I can then pass all the bits through, getting two faces planed. I've got these little kilner jars, and they're the widest of the jars I've got, so I use them to work out how thick I want the shelves to be. I can then get the board ripped down to this width. These are still very chunky, so instead of thicknessing it down and wasting all that wood, I can resaw it and then save these slats for something else another time. These slats do have one rough sawn face, so I get them all put through the thicknesser to clean that up. I can now set up some stops on the miter saw and get all the bits cut to length. I want this to have two shelves holding eight jars per shelf. I'm going to join it all together using my finger joint jig and the router. I've done a few videos about using this and probably with setting up and getting it cut it took five minutes for this project. So once you know what you're doing it's a pretty quick machine to use. Before I get this all glued up I'm going to have a dry fit because I need to work out where the shelf needs to go. With it put together I just put marks on the bottom corner of both sides and then I can draw a line on the side pieces where the shelf needs to go. I set up a couple of stops on the cross cut sled and this is going to allow me to cut a groove. This is going to accept a shelf and I'm going to use one of those resawed bits of wood I had left over. With a groove cut in both sides I'm going to put together again but this time with some glue. and get some clamps on, pulling it in every direction, checking and adjusting that it's square. I want this to have a rebate to accept a back panel. I raise a bearing guided route a bit, a very small amount, and take a shallow pass. I do this three times until I've built up to a 3mm deep rebate and this is to accept some birch 3mm ply so I can get that cut down to fit inside. Because the router leaves rounded corners I've got this washer at the same profile that I can use to draw out round the corners on the ply and then I can just use the random orbital sander to sand down to this line, rounding off the corners. I painted the back panel with some chalk paint, and then I remembered I really hate chalk paint. So I ended up cutting this panel again and redoing it in some eggshell. Because of the rebate, the shelf doesn't need to be as wide as the other pieces, so after measuring it, I can rip another piece down to fit in it. I was going to use those offcuts from earlier, but I'd actually cut the groove too thick, so I had to resource more material to fit those slots perfectly. I give everything a quick sand because when the shelf's in, I won't be able to get the sander inside the box. Then I can get some glue put into the slots I cut and I can get that shelf put into place. I want this rack to have an added detail of some little rails to keep the jars in. So I've got my metal bender out, link to it below if you're interested, and I've got some 5mm brass rod that I'm just putting some right angle bends on the ends of. So to attach this rod I need some 5mm holes drilled into this, so I'm just marking out where I want the holes to go and then I can use the drill press to drill them out. I give everything another sand down, working my way up the grits, and then I can get some finish on. I'm just going for my old favourite that I always use, a bit of Danish oil. 
very easy to apply, offers a nice level of protection and I think it makes oak look great. I leave the oil a day to dry and then I can get this back panel put in place. I've painted both sides of it and I'm just going to attach it with some little veneer pins and then I'll touch up the little nail holes with some paint afterwards. I hadn't really thought how I was going to attach this to the wall and I should have thought about that before I put the back panels on. But anyway, I'm going to cut a little slot for some brass hanging plates to go on. These are typically called mirror hanging plates. I use them all the time, yet I've never hung a mirror with them. To attach those brass rods, I'm just mixing up a small patch of epoxy and I can get that put into the little holes. The rods can be then put in place and because the bends aren't at perfect 90 degrees, they take a bit of wiggling to get in and then a bit of persuasion just to seat down. So that's it all done, plenty of room for all my herbs and spices. Now I just need to get it attached to the wall. Thanks for watching, thanks to my Patreons, and please subscribe for more videos.